Hello, and welcome to my virus removal video. If you've seen my recent video, you'll notice this is the same setup as before, but with a lot more viruses and fishy looking programs installed. To start this off, I will disable startup programs and boot into safe mode. For Windows 8, right click the taskbar, task manager. When I head to more details, go to startup, right click every program, and disable all of them. These are startup programs that run when the computer is booted up. For any other operating system other than Windows 8, you would hold down the Windows key plus R, type in msconfig, and hit startup and just disable it from there. Now, after this, we'll boot into safe mode. You'll do this from msconfig, so Windows key R, msconfig, hit enter, boot, click safe mode, and then click network. On every other operating system other than Windows 8, you can simply tap the F8 key on your keyboard while Windows is on the boot while Windows is booting up on the Windows loading screen. But for Windows 8, this does not work. So you have to do it this way. Hit apply, okay. Hit restart, because we're gonna be rebooting into safe mode. Okay, this is the Windows loading screen. Okay, we are now in safe mode. You can tell this is safe mode by the top right, top left, bottom left, and bottom right saying safe mode along with the build of your operating system. Next, we will want to open up a web browser. I'm going to choose Google Chrome. We're going to go download Rkill from Bleeping Computer. So let's just go to Google, type in Rkill. If you cannot access the web on the computer you're working with, use another computer and download it onto a flash drive that way you can transfer it over or if the virus is blocking the web browser in any way which was which stops you from downloading it just use another computer and put it onto a flash drive okay right here okay that's downloading now we're also going to download Mal malware bytes the links will be in the description if needed re-download and now hit download now okay I'm gonna bring these programs to the desktop you don't need to but it helps me keep more organized. So art, art kill, and then Malabatch right here, and then we're gonna install Malabytes, malware bytes. So let's do that since I cannot use art kill. It may be that I'm in safe mode, but let's run. Malware bytes to remove anything first. Install. Leave all these checked. Enable free trial of malware bytes anti malware pro. We'll leave it out of trial for now. You're gonna let it update. So let that run. Hit OK. From here, we're gonna do. Let's attempt a flash scan. I might not be able to do this. Okay. Since we have the pro trial, we're going to do a flash scan, a quick scan, and then a full scan. So I'm going to let this sit until it's done. Okay, the flash scan is complete. This only took 46 seconds for me, and I found 37 threats. So show results, and we're going to select all of these, and then remove selected. They all seem to be WebCake which is 
a virus that I have installed along with some Trojans which not sure what they're from then hit remove selected hit X's out unless you want to look at your log urgent you must restart restart make sure you entered safe mode again okay we're gonna head back to control panel and uninstall a program it was removed I just needed to restart my computer let's start with the ass bar now and I'll just keep going down I'm going to keep Java, Malware Bytes, and then Microsoft Visual C++. And I'm going to go for these and downwards again. Including my PC backup, that's not going to be, that's not staying. That's also, I'd say, Adware. Okay, I gotta open up control panel again. That program closed it out, but it uninstalled. And if you have any optimizers, just get rid of them. They really don't help. And this one's a virus, most likely. I'm not sure if Torch is a legit program, but I prefer Chrome, and I recommend Chrome over any other browser. Okay, I have two programs that will not install, Ask Toolbar and VAP Player. I'm going to leave those in for now. Right now I'm going to head to Chrome. And to make this a little bit easier, let's go to settings. If you have any extensions and toolbars on top, to get rid of that, just head to settings, extensions, disable, 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 trash can. Go to settings. Set pages. This is a uh, get rid of that page. Type in the new home page you want. You're gonna use HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com. That'll be a new home page. That'll be a new home page. You're gonna change search to Google. And we're gonna click manage search engines. Let's get rid of the Pirate Bay, this one too, <laughs> and ask, ask, and can do it. These three you can leave. I only use Google though. One thing else is to clean the history, so clear browsing history. I clear everything and beginning of time. So clear browsing data. Next, we're going to rerun Chrome. And you can see it's running clean, so we're going to get CC Cleaner from Pyroform. So Google CC Cleaner, pyroform.com/slash CC Cleaner. Let's go back. Uh, download. Download the normal one, not the professional one. Get it from powerform.com and then let it run. 
this is it CC cleaner while I'm in the downloads folder I'm going to delete all of these setup files because they're not needed and these are all the setups for the programs the viruses so shift delete and they're gone from there next install CC cleaner Hey, yes, recommend. And we're going to clear out all of the Internet Explorer. We're going to say passwords. Same for Google Chrome. I'm also going to click Sun Java. Game Explorer. And in advance, old prefetch data. I believe that's it. You hit analyze or run cleaner. Let's do an analyze. Hey, yes. Well, close Google Chrome first. Then hit yes. 250 MB to clean. So I'm going to hit run cleaner. Hit OK. Next, set the registry. Scan for issues and fix selected issues. Do you want to keep a backup change to the registry? I'm going to select no. Fix all selected issues. Close. Scan for issues again. No. Fix all issues. And then one more time. Okay. Next, we're going to close out of this. We're going to do a reboot. We're going to boot into normal mode. So, just do a restart. But first, open up msconfig windows r, windows key plus r. Type in msconfig. Boot. Disable safe mode. And just hit. Just hit OK. Now hit restart. From here, I'll head back to Malwarebytes. Hit yes. I'm just going to leave that open. First, I'm going to run rkill, see if that'll launch this time. Okay, this is how rkill should work. We're going to let that run through. Seems it doesn't work in safe mode. Okay, we're gonna hit OK. We're also gonna head back to Control Panel to check if we can uninstall those two programs. Okay, Ask can be uninstalled now. Let's try that player. Okay, now in here, you should be left with trusted programs only. So that'll be CC Cleaner, Chrome, Java. Make sure it has the right publisher. Also, you may have your Microsoft Office. You're not going to uninstall that. And any other programs that you use, that you use, as long as they're legit programs, should still be in here. Just don't uninstall them. Okay, hit X. Since our kill has ran, we're going to head to Task Manager. Let's we'll see if anything else is running. Anything, anything else that looks fishy. Just going to go through the processes. Seems to be clean. Running smooth. Startup. I'm going to enable Google Installer gonna leave Java disabled check users everything looks right let's 
services. Well, looks fine to me. What you're going to be looking for is a weird program with like a weird name. To, if it looks fishy, we just right click and stop the service. Okay, we're going to close out of this, but also if you found something fishy here, just right click and hit end tasks, like this one. Internet low mic utility tool. That sounds like a virus. We're going to open up Internet Explorer. I'm going to go to settings, internet options. Let's use default. Apply. Okay, let's close this. Okay, we got the default home page again. Gonna go back to settings. Um, manage add ons. If you have anything here that you don't want or looks fishy, just hit disable. I'm gonna disable these. And then let's go to search providers. Let's disable these and leave Bing. Remove, actually. And for Bing, we're going to do set as default and remove this one now. Accelerators. Everything looks fine. Tracking protection. Let's just say close. I'm going to keep that disabled. Okay, that seems to be running fine. Check Google one more time. Okay, we're clear there. Now these programs, we're going to delete them. Shift, delete. Downloads. Delete this too. Tor browser, that's a safe program, but I'm going to delete it also. If it wants to delete. Okay, there we go. This is the Archeo log. Now we're going to open up Malwarebytes again. And we're going to run a flash scan. One more time. Okay, no malware detected, so everything checks out. Control panel, system and security, and search for it. We're gonna create a restore point. Configure. We're going to delete any restore points in there. Continue. Hit OK. Now create a new one. Name it whatever you want. Create. OK. This should be the only one in there. No viruses. Right now, your computer is good to go and it's clean. You can delete the, these install programs. You can keep Arkill if you like. If you're still having problems with viruses after, after you have finished this cleaning, you can install AVG antivirus, the free version, do a full scan, see what you can clean up, clean it up, and then either use that or use Malwarebytes. Just don't use them both at the same time. Just use one. So uninstall AVG when you're done, or uninstall Malwarebytes. Once you're done, there's another program you can install, an extension for Chrome. So run Chrome. We're going to be installing Adblock or Adblock Plus. So Chrome Web Store. Type in Adblock. 
Okay, you can use either one of these. Add block is the one I'm going to recommend. And then add block plus, I'll recommend if you have a faster machine. If you have a slower machine, use add block. If you have a faster machine, use add block. Add block plus, it's more heavy. Let this install. And exit. Now open Chrome again. And you'll have an add block button here. You can hide the button if you'd like. And I'll just go do your daily browsing. And this will remove advertisements. Advertisements you may click on, which can infect your computer if you download something. For now, that is all. Thank you for watching.